Hello, in this video we're going to configure Access Manager to support non-1x capable devices like IoT devices such as printers with Mac authentication bypass. So there's several steps in order to achieve this. The first step, which is configuring your SSID or switch port to use Access Manager, is listed in a separate video below. We'll configure our group policies, our client groups and add our MAC addresses, and then we'll configure Access Manager rules for policy. So in our Meraki dashboard, we're going to go to Network Wide and Group Policies. I've already created three group policies for our IoT devices, separated out however I, I want to use them. So the next thing we're going to do is go to Access Manager and Clients. And as you can see, I don't have any clients or client groups at the moment. But what I can do, I can add these manually if I want. And I can also do this for clients as well by going to Add Clients. But it's a bit laborious if you have lots of these. So what we can also do is bulk upload these as well. So what I'm going to do is go to Add Clients and Upload CSV. Now I can download the template, which is relatively straightforward. It essentially has the MAC address, the client group that we're going to create, and a description of that client. So really straightforward. You'll see when you download. So let's drag that CSV over and click Upload. You'll notice almost instantly that all of the MAC addresses are already uploaded, all of the client groups are created for you as well. So we've done literally everything for you in just one easy step. So I'm gonna go back to Access Manager and Access Rules now. So we've already got some rules created, but let's create a new one. We'll give this a name such as IoT Printers. We'll select Endpoints. And what we're going to do is choose Client Group now, and we're going to say Match All. And we're just going to select the client group that we created with our CSV. What we need to do next is decide the behavior of the devices when they join. So I'm gonna choose restricted access, choose a group policy, which is my Access Manager printers. I'll click save. I'm going to do this again for the other two use cases that we have, the media and just general IoT devices as well. So let's again do this. I'll give this a name. IoT Media, so this is for my TVs and things like that. So again, I'm going to select Endpoints, Client Group, Match All, and then choose my Media. And again, we'll do Restricted Access, scroll down, select my Group Policy, and choose my Media Group Policy, click Save. And one more time, let's do this for all of the other IoT devices which don't have a Pacific name. So again, one more time, add a rule, just call this IoT. Again, we're going to enable this policy. Again, endpoint, client group, match all, IoT. Scroll down to access permissions, restricted access, group policy, and we'll choose our IoT. Now, I made a slight mistake. I don't know if anybody caught this, but as you can see, my IoT printers policy is not actually enabled. So we're just going to go back. And again, the dashboard actually tells you this. Let's enable this and let's click save. So this is how we can support devices which are not capable of 1X with Mac authentication bypass and access manager. Thank you.